Hello guys and welcome to today's video. I want to share with you some ideas in how you can improve your music. I'm going to be talking firsthand how I use these on my journey to get where I am today. The first one is collaboration with friends. So the first person which really helped me with my music making is actually Brandon who makes content for Syntho now. So any of you guys who are members will be familiar with him. There's also loads of stuff on Instagram you can check out by him. But anyway, he was making music since the age of around 14 and we were in school together and he was the first person to show me Ableton. And this really allowed me to get a, you know, a bit of a head start opposed to if I was going around in circles on my own. And also I met Ryan Murray who has worked inside Syntho. I met him in my first year of uni in a nightclub, mint club. And then also Alfie Jack who came to me for lessons and we collaborated. So why is collaboration good? Well, you're often going to share different ideas and different workflows and bounce off each other. Not only this, I always found that when I'm collaborating, I had a much higher tolerance to, you know, if a groove sounded good, but we didn't know what to do next, I'd spend longer trying to figure out what the missing part was. Whereas on your own, we all know what it's like where you're making something, you get stuck and it's so easy just to, you know, go into the other room or take a break or even sack the idea off. So having someone to bounce the ideas with and talk and discuss... I think increases your patience. And along with that, you know, you've both likely had a different background in music making to this stage. A big thing was also accountability, collaborating with another person. If they send you an idea, the chances are they're going to be pushing you to start working on it. So it was that aspect as well. So for me, Brandon was someone who could show me the basics. And then with Ryan, he had a more traditional background he said he actually hadn't been a teacher so in a, in a college so he knew much more by the book kind of stuff that makes sense and Alfie he had this crazy way of working which was super super unique and you know I have to thank them all for the amount of stuff I gained from them so for you if you're thinking I don't know anyone now how can I find people go to nightclubs that's where I met Ryan go to places where you think these kind of people are going to be start off as friends then you can even do things online we can invite them to the studio I do think there's something special about making music inside a studio however online is still a good option so my second point follows on from this and it is to build up a support network of producers who are at a similar level as you this can allow you to then share your tracks as you're going on a frequent basis. I would either set up something like a Telegram group, a Facebook group, a Discord group, and just encourage each other to send ideas in, whether it's a 16-bar loop or a three-minute track or a full thing. And you'll find the more you give to other people, the more they'll give to you when you send a track. So in my network, I'm often sending music to people at Local Dub, Jensen, Paddy Lee. They are all part of my Yumi crew as they are the residents. And it's really good for me because I know that I'll get some honest feedback. They know what I want in terms of sound. So they can really point me in the right direction of things they think they can hear or things they think the track's missing. It's definitely something I'd recommend you guys working on. So find some friends, make a group and encourage each other to send as many tracks in as frequently as possible and almost get on each other's back about it. You know, if someone's not sent something in for a while, say, come on, man, come on, girl, what's going on? My third idea for improving your music making skills is track referencing. So this gets a bit more technical now, and this is purely inside Ableton, not something you can rely on anyone else, but this made a dramatic improvement to my sound. So what is track referencing? This is where you take a tune you like, and you drag and drop it into Ableton, and you try and dissect it piece by piece and put it together yourself. I would always start with the kick drum. So my thought process is usually... Is it a 909 or an 808? Usually it's going to be one of the two. Then try and find a similar kick. Then go for a similar hat, a similar clap, etc. It can be very, very hard at the start and very challenging. However, it really forces you to listen critically. And when listening critically, this is when you can start to actually think, okay, I like this track because of this sound. I don't like this sound. And then you can start to piece together your own vibe. I would follow the things like the BPM. I would find out the key of the track. You can do this hopefully inside beat pull or inside record box and do right click analyze key but honestly track referencing it made me realize what i was missing the right sounds that i wanted to use to achieve the sound i desired and in general it was just a great starting point for all projects even when i felt uninspired i could then use a referencing track and almost use it as a kind of homework exercise to build on something so when someone says okay i'm lacking inspiration i've got writer's block literally just drag a track you like into ableton and reference it and go from there 
And this leads us to a final point, and that is pay for some kind of education, whether it be a course or something where it's a one-on-one mentorship. I did some one-on-one lessons for a while, but it was quite expensive. And that's what led me to making my platform Syntho because I'm offering a service with an exceptional amount of content and an exceptional level for probably a cheaper price per month than most good one-on-one teachers. So from this, you're learning from someone else's mistakes. I'm showing you exactly what I wish I knew sooner, whether it be plugins, workflow, creative techniques. I'm literally showing inside Syntho what I wish I knew then. We can spend a long time trying to figure out all ourselves. But you'll often find that going round and round in circles, you just get frustrated and you're actually wasting time. It can be anyone, anyone you want to go for to get help. But I would always try and find some kind of mentor or someone that's done it before you and learn from them. It's going to speed things up massively. And there really is no badge of honor to be able to say, okay, I did this all myself. I've now been producing for give or take 10 years. And I know for a fact, at least five of them, I didn't even know what an EQ was. And (laughs) you can sign up to Syntho or any other platform and within a day, understand the fundamentals of different effects, what plugins you should be buying. Probably say that university courses aren't that direct if if your main purpose is, I want to learn to make club weapons because they're going to do a long-winded thing, beat around the bush of, here's what a delay is, here's what a reverb is. And if I'm completely honest, I think they are very, very overpriced. And to deliver this information, it really does not need to cost you £9,000 a year, whatever university course is. But the point here is just invest in some kind of learning. It's not just information you'll get, it's the commitment to parting with your own cash. And then it's kind of, it's called putting some skin in the game. Because once you start using your own money to put into something, you're going to take it seriously, opposed to trying to crack everything, you know, just free YouTube. And we now live in an age where information is no longer the problem. It's trying to find the good information. And you probably see on YouTube that 99% of stuff, it's not helpful. So to conclude, the four points that we spoke about is one, collaborate with friends, two, build up a support network, three, use track referencing, and four, invest in learning. I'd love to hear what you think about the things I've mentioned. If you've got any suggestions yourself, please comment below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all very soon.